In this tutorial, we're going to have an interactive conversation with the Palm API. So instead of doing it like the previous video, we kept hard coding our replies. In this video, we're going to use user inputs. I'm still going to have the Google Generative AI package and I'm going to have my API key. At first, I want to send my first message to initiate the conversation. So I'm going to say hi and get the response and then we can print it. So when we do this, it will look as if the chatbot is greeting us first because I'm not displaying my message. I'm only displaying the response. Then I have this reply variable and it's currently empty. The point of using this reply variable is to populate it with contents from the user's inputs and then pass it to the API to get the appropriate response. I have this while loop, I have while true, meaning that this will run indefinitely, meaning that you could chat back and forth with the chatbots for several days. Once the chatbot greets us, we want to prompt the user to write a reply. So we have your reply, colon, space, and whatever the user types is going to get captured here as a string and then stored in this variable the reply variable. Now I'm going to come back to this if statement, but first, once we get the user's reply, we're going to pass it to the reply method on the response object. Remember that the response object is what we got from the API here when we first initiated the conversation. So when we call reply the method, we can pass it the user's reply. When we do that, we're going to get a response, which we're going to print. And then we're going to prompt again at the next iteration your reply, the user will type something. We're going to store it as a string in reply and then pass it again to the API and get the response and print it. But at some point, if the user wants to quit the conversation, they can type Q and this is going to stop the, the dialogue. So here I have if the reply, the user's reply is equal to Q in uppercase, meaning it works for lowercase and uppercase, then I want to break out of the loop. And that's how we can have a conversation. So before I end this video, I'm going to run this so that you see how it works. I'm running the file now. I'm going to make this a bit bigger. So you see that now the chatbot is saying, hi there, how can I help you today? So it's as if we are being approached by the chatbots, but that is because we initiated the conversation in the code here and we are just printing the first response. Now I'm going to ask it, what day is it today? Now it's replying, today is Friday, February 25, 2023. Now this date is actually wrong, so I'm going to ask it, why is it incorrect? And when I type this, it's going to look for an answer, return it, and display it. So here it's saying, I apologize that the date I gave you is wrong. I am still under developments and learning to be more accurate. So it's apologizing and I'm going to write, that's fine. I'm glad to hear that. So you see that now we have your reply, whatever we request, then we have the response and then we have your reply again, and then I can keep going. If I want to stop the conversation, meaning I want to quit my chat with the chatbot, I can write Q and then press enter. And now the program has terminated. So that's how you can have a chatbot. You can create a chatbot with the Google Palm API, which is also the Google Bard API. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. In the next video, we're going to look at more features from the Google Palm API.